Hello everyone, my name is Belly and if you are subscribed, that's, that's wonderful. wonderful. So basically <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically I know that I have been um, not in YouTube for a while, but it's because I had some problems with the program that I'm using that is Premiere. So I really hate it. Now do you understand why I haven't posted anything? But there are no more excuses, I need to keep going with this project. So first of all, if you can see behind me, you will find the skate park. This is Kings Park in Bournemouth, so come along. Okay, right now we're here at the Kings Park Skate Park and this is a combination with a large plaza style and a bowl as you can see right now. So basically what I'm doing is to film in everything what is going on. I've been trying to do some tricks <laughs> that I'm so bad on it. I'm so not, I'm really so sorry. My name is Marcus. Uh, George Clifton. Owen. So, are you London? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm actually not from Bournemouth. I'm from London. Um, I moved down here when I come to university. Oh, so you skate? Yeah, I do. For how long have you been skating? Um, I don't know, maybe since I was about eight years old. How old are you? Uh, 26. I've been skateboarding for 10 years since I was like 13, so I'm 24 now, so 11 years roughly. A bit yeah. too long to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm more in it for just the scene and, and enjoying myself rather than having a, having a proper like decent skate, but yeah, probably about 10 plus years. I feel like a bit of a savage sometimes, like, like that I just really get into it, get really immersed with it and it's kind of like any sort of negative energy or negative emotions that I have with myself or even positive as well, I can put that all into skateboarding. It's kind of like an escape for, for most people, I guess for me as well, like if, I'm, if I've had a bad day at work or something, I just come to the skate park and chill, you're surrounded by nice people as well and everyone just wants to have a good time. How was my first time skating? So I went skating with my brother, like we used to go out and just go like around the local areas, skateboarding all day, like it was good fun. I work at a skate shop in town. Oh really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a manager of a No Chaos Cell, so it's pretty cool, it's just started up and uh, just trying to help out the scene, the, the community and stuff and yeah, it's nice to be a part of something. This is my full-time career. That's amazing. Yeah, because you have a lot of talent, so I can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm painting artwork for the event this weekend. Which is the name of that event? King of Kings. King of Kings. Yeah, it's kind of in memory of our friend Nathan, uh, who passed away. That's why you'll see his name on everything. Everything's for Nathan. And yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to be part of that like community and with the with the big King of Kings event coming up and, and stuff like that. It's, it's cool. It's definitely a cool thing. Uh, it's a, just a big community kind of thing. Um, it's in memory of Nathan Hurd. He was a skater down here, and you know, so it's, it's just so everyone. If you if you get a a photo of that uh, big Spitfire Nathan Hurd logo on the uh, on the mini. Did you design this? Uh, no, I don't know who did. I'm going off a sticker, but I'm kind of doing my own thing. 
it's all for Nathan. Everything we do down here is for Nathan Hurd. We've got a little plaque on the, uh, on the side of the extension there as well. Uh -huh. and this Dorset, that's all freestyle, without any design, just freestyle. For how long have you been doing this? Um, I probably started painting like illegally in the streets when I was about 12, just messing around and tagging and stuff. <laughs> Uh, what's my favourite trick? Hmm. Probably a fakie flip. Uh, I'm a, probably a, a flat ground skater only. I skate the Bournemouth Town Square quite a lot. To the newbies, I mean, never be like threatened to come down to skate park. You see a lot of people wanting to get into skating, especially after lockdown as well. They want to get out and be active. Um, I think just come down and, and speak to us, and you know, we can obviously help. Like we've been on the scene for a long time, and everyone here is so friendly. Like. There's never any like bad bad vibes or anything, so it's nice. Just come down and we'll help you. Yeah. As you can see, very close to the skate park. That is just right there. I mean, just look at them. You have there the skate park, and you have here the cemetery. It's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit scary. Okay, so what you can see in here, that is, as I mentioned before, very, very close to the skate park that is over there. So in here we have the East Cemetery in Bosco. Some of the 121st World War burials in this cemetery are those of soldiers who died in Bournemouth Auxiliary and Private Hospital. 75 of these graves are a special plot in the main path and in a special place of this plot and include a special memorial with two soldiers drawn off which bodies never were found. So, I don't know how, but this place is very silent, like quiet. We're very close to this very loud place, noisy. And as soon as you come over here, it's pretty, pretty different. The vibes are different. I don't know mind respect for these people Okay, this one is just one of the multiple skate parks that you can find in Bournemouth. You have the Bournemouth Dock Lane Skate Park, the Kings Park that is this one. You have Moore Avenue Skate Park, Pool Lane and the Slate Farm. That is the one that I've been using more frequently. So uh, that has been everything for today and the only thing that I can say right now is come here if you want to do some skating. The people is super cool so don't worry about that. Subscribe, don't forget to thumbs up and hit the notifications bell. Bye!